Welcome to Electromagnetics Playlist. I, Prof. Ritesh Dulakia, is going to explain you coaxial cable capacitance in this session. And see, I have already explained how to have a calculation of capacitance in previous video where I have explained you capacitance calculation for parallel plate. So same process that we will be following here. So you just see my previous video based on parallel plate same process that I'll follow to have a calculation of capacitance for coaxial cable. So first I'll show you what will be the structure and then we will solve capacitance step by step. So let us have a structure first. Now see for a structure see here I'll consider same process right. So let us say this is let us say this is uh, Z direction, right? Let us say this is Y direct X direction, and let us say this is Y direction. Now, with respect to this, in coaxial cable, there is inner conductor. You can see this is inner conductor, and that is going like this in Z direction, right? And now you can see this is outer conductor. And that is there with respect to Z you can see in 3D. So it is happening like this. Now here there are few data that you should know. One is what is the length of this co coaxial cable let us say that is L right now second data that is what is inner radius so if I say inner radius is A and let us say what is outer radius so let us say outer radius is B now here see inner conductor that is having negative charge here inner conductor that is having negative charge and here outer conductor that is having positive charge. Inner conductor that is line charge, right? Inner conductor that is line charge and that is having negative charge and outer conductor that is positively charged that you can see it over here. Now, first of all, how to calculate capacitance? So process will be same. See capacitance. C is equals to Q by potential difference. Now here what is Q? So charge Q and here there is a line charge on this. So as per that Q will be line charge rho L into length. Right. So that is how Q will be there. Now our question is what is potential difference? So voltage that we need to calculate and that voltage will be V is equals to minus integration E dot DL. So this is how voltage will be there. Now here first agenda that is to calculate what is electric field. So let us try to understand that electric field. Now see electric field that happens from positive charge to negative charge. So you can see direction of electric field that will happen like this that will be inside the that will be there towards the center right as outer conductor is positively charged you can see it will be like this so what is that electric field so electric field here electric field due to line charge rho L so that electric field E is equals to we have already calculated electric field due to line charge right and that is rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 R in the unit vector R direction right. Now here you can see it is there towards the center it is there in the direction towards the center so as it is there in the direction towards the center. I can say that is minus negative right as it is there 
towards the center and if you use this formula in potential calculation then we can have this v right so let us use this so here it is there towards the center so i am considering that is negative and now if i calculate this potential minus rho l by 2 pi epsilon 0 r and see now see this l now i am just considering instead of that it is dr right and where r varies from a to b where r varies from a to b so this minus minus will get plus so you just take rho l by 2 pi epsilon 0 outside as it is constant and 1 by r integration that is ln r and limit is there from a to b so if you place that rho l by 2 pi epsilon 0 r then this will be ln b minus ln a so that is ln b by a right so this will be potential now let us say this is equation this is equation 1 and let us say this is equation 2 and this is what we are dealing with to place it in capacitance so let us say this is equation a so let me mention it over here put 1 and 2 in equation a so if you do this then you can say c is equals to q by v where q is rho l into a rho l into l and v that is rho l divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 ln b by a so this rho l will get cancelled and you will be having you can take it over up so 2 pi epsilon 0 l divided by ln b by a so this will be capacitance due to this will be capacitance due to coaxial cable that is 2 pi epsilon 0 l divided by ln b by a where b is outer radius and a is inner radius and l is length of the coaxial cable now let us try to understand this with respect to one example so it will be more clear so i am just giving you one example here so let me write that question first Now see in this question for inner radius of 1 mm and outer radius of 3 mm of coaxial cable with dielectric material of epsilon r is equals to 4.5 calculate capacitance per unit length. So here what is given inner radius so inner radius is a that is 1 mm outer radius is 3 mm and per unit length we need to calculate means L is equals to 1 meter and epsilon R that is equals to 4.5 that is given to us and we are dealing with to calculate capacitance and formula of capacitance for coaxial cable that we know 
c is equals to 2 pi epsilon 0 now see here for free space we have calculated if it is having epsilon r then epsilon 0 epsilon r l that will be the formula divided by ln b by a see this is what the capacitance generalized formula right so if you place values so 2 into pi into epsilon 0 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 epsilon r is 4.5 l is 1 divided by ln b by a so 3 divided by 1 mm will get cancelled so ln 3 right and if you solve this you will be getting capacitance so So we can say this is zero point two seven into ten to the power minus nine Faraday, or one can say zero point two seven nano Faraday. So this is how we can calculate capacitance because of coaxial cable. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestion. Definitely based on your suggestions in future I will make videos which will solve all the queries which is required to be solved over here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.